It's May 3rd, 2021, and there's a new version of Descript out today with some great new stuff. Descript Screen Recorder is a powerful tool for piecing together multi-part videos like this one, but it's also a fast and effective way to communicate with your team or your customers. For most people though, unless you speak in perfectly formed paragraphs, you probably miss one feature of email, the backspace key. Today we're releasing the quick editor and editing screen recordings has never been easier. When you finish your screen recording, we'll instantly show you a preview fully transcribed so before you share, you can edit your video the same way you'd edit a doc. It's video with a backspace key. One more click and it's on the web, on your clipboard, ready to share. Cool, but let's go back to the quick editor for a second because there's more. One of our most popular features is filler word removal. Just one click and your ums, uhs, likes, you knows, and repeated words are zapped. Not only making you sound like super erudite, but also reducing the length of your recordings by up to 10%. Next up, overdub works in the quick editor. If you don't know what overdub is, it's this cool AI voice cloning stuff that we've built into Descript. So you can fix mistakes in your video just by typing and it generates the audio. And of course, if you want access to Descript's full editor, it's just a click away. From here, you can stitch together multiple videos, add titles, sound, video and image overlays, and a lot more. Screen recordings now live directly in your Descript drive and are mingled with projects so you can organize them in folders and stuff. Give this new version of Descript Screen Recorder a try. We think you'll love how easy editing is and your collaborators will too. On to the next big feature or set of features, improvements to timeline editing. First, you can now batch edit clip properties. Just shift click to select multiple clips and then edit using the inspector. We've also added a toolbar to the timeline. Here's a neat tip. You can quickly access any tool by holding its keyboard shortcut. So for example, I can hold B to temporarily switch to the blade tool, click to make some edits, and then when I release B, it goes back to the selection tool. This release also includes many other smaller features such as the ability to adjust clip speed, and Overdub now works for audio on video files. To see other improvements, check out our changelog or stop by our Discord community and chat with us about it. We'll also be doing a live community chat on Thursday, May 13th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. You can get the link in the description. Hope to see you there. Enjoy the new release and we'll be back soon with more.